Produced with exclusive support from Illumina. This is the story of you. Billions of years of evolution, and here you are, watching this guy. He is Gregor Mendel, an Austrian monk and scientist. Hello, Gregor. In the middle of the 1800s, he's going about his monkey business breeding pea plants and discovers that certain traits are inherited as units, that his pea flowers are either purple or white, never a blend of the two, never purple-ish. We call these units of inheritance genes, and for this discovery, Mendel is known as the father of genetics, which, since monks aren't allowed to father much of anything, is both naughty and excellent. Like Gregor, you are built from around 50 trillion cells. Like him and his pea plants, your cells contain a set of instructions that you pass on to your children, your genome. It's all made of DNA, which carries a code built from an alphabet of just four letters, A, T, C, and G. But there's three billion of them. Gosh, that's awfully complicated. Since Mendel, staggering progress has been made deciphering genomes. Here are some other 50 trillion cell folk, Watson, Crick and Franklin, discovering the DNA double helix. Ah, and this lot. Figuring out how the code is translated, how and when it's active and what happens when it goes wrong. Genomes certainly are tricky. The next chapter in your story is the Human Genome Project. The entire three billion letter code that makes an average person was published at the start of the 21st century to great, but not literal, fanfare. Presidents heralded the end of disease because presidents like to do that sort of thing. Unfortunately for presidents, it's not a purple and white issue. You are more complex than peas. Genetics is not just about the code, it's about how that code is interpreted, how it makes different cells and different people. To figure it out, someone has to look for differences between people. The story of you, and you, and you, and you, and a lot more yous to see how those variations combine and how they relate to disease. That's what this mob do, compare and track genes, highlighting tiny bits in the story of you. They're also inventing faster ways to read genomes, resulting in explosions of data. Yeah, there we go. 10 years on from the Human Genome Project, the next colossal chapter in your story is the Encyclopedia of DNA Elements, or ENCODE. Take a bow. ENCODE is a monumental step towards piecing together how you and me and everyone works. It's a map that reveals the whole genome is a jungle buzzing with activity. Even the parts we used to think of as junk. Not just the genes, but instructions telling them what to do and when to do it. People and diseases are complex because our genomes are complex. ENCODE hugely advances our understanding of who you are, where you come from, and how genetic disorders such as cancers or heart disease happen so that one day they'll be fixable. So, here you are with your 50 trillion cells and your complicated code that makes you utterly unique. How your story begins and unfolds is something humankind is only just beginning to fathom. And that story, my friend, is a gloriously colourful thing. Produced with exclusive support from Illumina.